time for the windows. So in the village where I'm building this garden room, they have a house clearance type auction once a month and they had these double glazing units. So we bid on them. So sorry for the shaky footage, we we're trying to be discreet. But I don't know if you could hear, but we got these for £14 for eight units. Now, we're going to use four in this garden room, and that leaves four for when I build my workshop next year. So this is just the double glazing glass, no frames. So it's back to my house to make some frames for them. I'd order some planed all round pine to make these out of, because they're going to be painted. So I can measure up what size I need it to be and then set up some stops on the miter saw and start getting the parts cut. This was my first outing with my new Bosch miter saw and I was very pleased with how it performed. To attach these frames together I'm going to use dowels and this dowel jig so I'm going to get them clamped up and drill the longer pieces into the ends first. This is a handy little jig that self-centers on the material. I'll put a link down to it below on the tools I use page. So I can get the holes drilled for the dowels. Now, a simpler way would just be to use screws and then fill the holes. With that done, I can then use these center pins to mark out where the next lot of holes go. And then I just need to drill some slightly shallower ones into that. Now I need to drill the corresponding holes, so I've taken the dowel jig apart so I can use it as a drill guide, so I just need to drill some shorter holes through this. I couldn't find my drill stop, so I just had a bit of tape put round to mark out how deep I needed to drill. I can now get the glue applied, dowels in, tap together and clamped up. To keep it all square, I've got some of my 10 minute workshop square enough clamps. So now I need to make some mouldings to go around the frame for the glass to actually butt up to. So I've got some thin strips of wood, but I want to rip an angle on them so the water will run off. And I'm going to do that on my new battery table saw, and this is going to be the first proper thing I've done on it. Now I've got these angled bits ripped down, I need to cut mitres on them to fit into the frames. So I'm going to set the blade up at 45 degrees and start getting them cut. I can get the first cut made, then work out how long the piece is going to need to be to fit inside the frame, get a stop set up and get the other angle cut. I just sneak up on the cut, trimming bits off until I get a perfect fit. Then I can get these bits installed, so I get a bead of glue on and then I get them held in place with some veneer pins. So now I've got this wood installed in the frame. Next, the double glazing units go into the frame and then they need another bit of wood to keep them in place. So I'm going to get that cut to size on the miter saw, but I'm not going to fit it yet because I want to get everything painted first. Now these frames need a windowsill, but I couldn't find any timber big enough, so what I've got is a couple of pieces that I'm going to get laminated together and left to dry. 
These are quite thick because there's plenty of surface area. So just a bit of glue spread out and then lots of clamps is fine. Now, while I'm leaving these to dry, I can get the frames all sanded down. And the bit I laminated up the windowsill is now dry, so I can get them all cut to length. The sills need an angle on them so water will actually run off. So I tilt the blade over on the mitre saw and then I can run them through cutting the angle. Don't ask me what it was, I just did it by eye. The underside of the sills need a drip groove. So I've got this V cutter in the router and get a straight edge clamped on and then running it along, getting it cut. Now I can get some glue applied and get the frame and the sill clamped together. So with them left to dry, the next job is to get everything painted. And this is kind of a sagey green Dulux paint, which has been used on the house before, so it's all gonna match. Now the paint's dry and I need to get the glass in. I've got this two mil thick double-sided foam. Learned about this from Bradshaw Joinery. So I'm just gonna get this installed on the inside of the frames. So I'm gonna get some five mil packers put in, the glass lowered onto that. Then I'm happy with the position and get the packers removed and the glass pushed down onto the tape. So the packers are just slightly thicker than the tape, so it stops the glass contacting. Just gives you a little wiggle room to move it around and get it centered. Then I can pull those packers out and push the glass down onto the tape, getting a good seal. Now I've got the panel centered, but I don't want it to drop at the bottom. So I've just cut a packer in half and I'm gonna get it in there. So now the battens need to go in to hold the glass in place. So the same foam tape gets applied and then this goes in pushed against the glass. Now to hold these in place, I can then tack them in using some veneer pins. I really didn't want to smash the glass. That would really have ruined my day. So I've got this little cutting mat. I just put that against the glass just to offer some protection. Now with the glass put in with the foam, it means there's a small gap around the outside. And I can go around with some silicon and fill all that now. Now you could tape up the glass and the frame with some masking tape but I just tried to be as careful as I could. So I've made three simple frames that are non-opening. Now I wanna make a fourth that opens. So what I'm gonna do is frame the glass with some mitres. Now first I'm gonna get them cut on the mitre saw before putting the rebate in, just because that way I can flip the piece over between cuts and maximize the use. Then I can cut the rebate out on the table saw. So with the frame laid out, I can get the glass on, mark out the size of the rebate, and then get that cut. The frame can then get glued together and I get it clamped up using some of these Collins mitre clamps. I'll put a link to those on the Tools I Use page as well. So the glue's dried on these mitre joints now, but I'd like to reinforce them. So what I'm going to do is use some of these 10 mil dowels, drill down and get a couple into each corner. Then when they're dry, I can trim them flush and give the whole thing a sand down. 
I start the holes with a falsener bit because it leaves a really clean hole and then finish it with a normal wood bit. Then the glue goes in, dowels and tap down into place. Now with this part done, I need to make a frame to go around it so I get that done exactly the same way as before and get it clamped up and left to dry. Right, for the opening window, I've got the two parts put together. I need painting, but before I do that, I'm going to get the mortises cut for the hinges. I get the positions marked out and then I can chisel away all the waste. So with that done, I skip ahead and get them painted and the glass in because I've shown all that already. Paint's dry, glass is in, and now last of the beading is going into place. I can now get the two bits attached with the hinges. The last job is to get the stay fitted. I've got a black one so it matches the hinges. And with that on, they're all done and we can go back to Northampton and get them fitted in the garden room. So, to get the windows fitted, the first job is to get this membrane folded back and stapled back in place, and then I can trim off any excess. So now, I want to go around and use some flashing tape to seal it up. So I'm going to start at the bottom, and then every joint above it overlaps the bottom one to stop water getting in. Now before I get the window into place, I'm just going to put a couple of packers in so it can sit on top of that. I can now get the window flush with the stud work and then get some more packers in to get it centred into the surround. Then I get some screws driven in through the packers to lock it into place. With the first one done, it's just a question of repeating the process another three times until I've got all four windows into place. Right, now I need to go around all the windows and just silicon with some exterior grade silicon all the gaps. As you can see, my work site is getting a bit cluttered already. Gonna to need to sort this out. So, there we go. Four windows fitted and sealed up. Uh, I just need to go round and clean them and touch up the paintwork, but I'm gonna wait until the cladding's on for that. So the next time is to get the door fitted. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.